Today on Ask Bloop, can you do traditional animation without a tablet? Welcome to Ask Bloop, more here from bloopanimation.com. It's Friday and it's time for your questions. Do you think Disney will attempt to create a feature length hand drawn blend with the CG like Paper Man? The shorts that Pixar and Disney produce are always trying to push some kind of technical limit. That's their way of testing a new technology or workflow, which they might consider using for their full length films. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they will actually use them. There are no indication that Disney is going to pursue making a film in that style, when their realistic 3D rendering are just getting more beautiful and complex. Like I said before, I don't see things going back to the 2D look from mainstream big budget films, produced by the big studios, though I would definitely be happy watching a movie in that style, produced by maybe a smaller company. If I wanted to go into the animation field specifically as a writer, will I still have to be proficient in drawing? While knowing and loving animation is probably important, I can see why drawing would help you become a better writer for animation. Animation is not a genre, it's just a different way of making films. A good writer should be able to write for animated films just as well as they can write for live action. A writer focuses on the story, not the production. Is there a way to do traditional animation without a tablet? I can't see a way to do traditional animation without a tablet. Drawing with your mouse is just not gonna work. I guess you can hand draw and then scan your drawings like they did back in the day, but that's a very tedious process. However, there are ways to do 2D animation without a lot of drawings. With both After Effects and Toon Boom, you can use certain rigging tools which allow you to create a character once and then just move it around. Kind of like 3D, but in 2D, without having to redraw frames. Similar to cutout animation. In both of our After Effects and Toon Boom animation courses, we show exactly how to do that. So check them out at bloopanimation.com slash our courses. What camera do you recommend recording reference footage with? Any kind of camera would be fine. Use whatever camera you have on your phone even. The point of shooting a reference video is just to have something to look at to get a better idea of the action while you're trying to animate. The quality of the video itself doesn't matter at all. All right, that's all the questions for today. If you have one, post it in the comment section below. And if you wanna stay updated on animation news, new tutorials, or see if your question was answered, click the subscribe button, which is the circle that's I think around here. See you next week.